Thank you, good evening. Welcome to the 2023 Glen Oaks Community College graduation. At this time, I would like to introduce Professor Michael Northrup, who will lead us in the national anthem and deliver the invocation. Please stand for the singing of the national anthem. By the dawn's early light, 
What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave? Let us pray. Spirit that moves through our world, creator, heart spark of learning and compassion, we have come together with hearts filled with hope, with expectation. This day is the culmination of hard work and laughter in tears. We've come now to this evening to look for the highest light, both that which comes from the human heart and that which comes from the divine. Our hearts are overwhelmed with gratitude and joy. And we recognize that this day has come for our graduates because of the help of family and friends. And we ask blessing upon all of them. But for many here, we also recognize help that comes from beyond our physical sense. And we now look to that source of help. Recognizing the many ways that we understand the source of blessing, we now seek blessing. Blessing on this very significant ceremony. Blessing on these graduates. And blessing upon all who have gathered. We ask that every good intention and positive prayer that is lifted here this evening be heard, honored, and answered. And that we all are lifted together to that state of hope and grace that is so fitting for this auspicious night. Amen. We would like to thank, oh, please be seated, please be seated. We would like to thank the Vintage Brass for providing the music for this evening. I am sure you are pleased with this addition to the ceremony. <laughs> On May 1st, Governor Whitmer proclaimed May as Military Service Appreciation Month. At this time, I would like to have all the veterans stand and be recognized. Please, all the veterans, please stand and be recognized. On behalf of Glen Oaks Community College and the Board of Trustees, we thank you for your service so very much. Welcome students to the 55th graduation ceremony. I hope that you will find the ceremony adds a distinctive collegial aspect to what will be, for many of you, an extended celebration. Some of you may return tomorrow for the health sciences pinning, as well as I'm sure many of you have plans later this evening for family gatherings, dinners, and such. We encourage you to take pictures as the evening progresses. You may come up here and do that. We welcome you to do that. You also notice when we get to the most important part where we confer the actual diplomas and certificates, uh, we will have some employees who will present their children with their diplomas. So that's what's going on when that happens so you know what's happening. 
This evening is very special for our graduates and also their families and significant supporters. This is one of my favorite parts of the evening. Would all the parents of graduates please rise and be recognized? All the parents, please rise and be recognized. Would all the grandparents please rise and be recognized? Would all the spouses and significant others please rise and be recognized? Would all the children of our graduates please rise and if they must, hold them up? And if there's anybody else that should be recognized, stand up. We also hope that your supporters and those who can't be with us this evening are watching the live stream video. I'd like to thank Valerie Jurgens, our Executive Director of Communications and Marketing, for her efforts in making this possible. Let's review a few statistics related to this evening's graduates. There are 153 graduates receiving degrees and or certificates in 2023. Their average age is 24, the youngest is 17, and the most senior is 68 years young. The average age, or excuse me, the average GPA is 3.3. There are three dual enrollment high school students who are graduating tonight before they are going to graduate from high school. We also have 35 early middle college graduates as well to this evening. At this time, I'd like to introduce the dais. We have Mr. Bruce Gosling, Chairperson of the Board. Please rise, hold your applause to the end, please. We have Nancy Percival, Vice President of the Board. We have Rod Lopez, Secretary to the Board of Trustees. We have Elizabeth Dokovich, Trustee. Carol Higgins, Trustee. Joe Haas, Trustee. Dr. Adam Cloutier, Vice President of Academics. Tanya Howden, Vice President of Student Services. Michael Northrup, Professor of Arts and Religion. I would also like to acknowledge several other in leadership in the, in the audience tonight. Valerie Jurgens, I believe she's over on the far side. Dr. Tammy Russell, who's Director of Institutional Planning and Assessment. Christina Stevens, who's Director of Business Outreach and Services. And Jamie Yesh, who's Director of Human Services. Please give them all a round of applause. You may be seated. Graduates, as we acknowledge and celebrate your success tonight, I'm sure you had great support from your family and friends and professors and college staff to reach this great milestone. So here's your chance. Please stand, graduates, and applaud all these supporters. Please rise and applaud all the supporters that have helped you get here. You may be seated. At this time, I'd like to take a few minutes to acknowledge our 2023 award recipients. A detailed description of each award and recipient is included in your graduation program. It is our hope that by taking these few minutes at our largest annual gathering to recognize these individuals, our graduates will see what they may aspire to in their careers, in their service, and in their community. As I call each award recipient's name, I'll have them come forward. They'll arrive here, I'll say a few remarks. If they so desire to make some remarks, I will give them that ability. First, I'd like to request that Mr. Chris Dow come forward.
The college presents an outstanding service award each year to a staff member who consistently goes above and beyond in the service of students, the college, and the community. I can assure you that this young man is very, very special to Glen Oaks. Congratulations. Will Ms. Darcy Sinez come forward? The GOCC Part-Time Teaching Excellence Award is presented annually to a part-time faculty member who demonstrates excellence in teaching and who reflects the value of education to students and the whole Glen Oaks community. This year, it's Ms. Darcy Sinez. Unfortunately, this evening, our E.J. Shaheen Teaching Excellence Award winner could not be with us because she's under the weather. But I would like to recognize Professor Lori Hatfield, Professor of English, as this year's E.J. Shaheen Teaching Excellence Award winner. We had a nice breakfast for her some weeks ago, and I think we should give her a round of applause in her absence. <laughs> Ms. Kelly Bibb. At GOCC, we are proud of every graduate. The Distinguished Alumni Award is presented annually to a graduate who has gone on to make a difference in his or her communities via demonstrated achievement in the chosen profession and service to their community. Please read what's in the program about Ms. Kelly Bibb. She's our amazing 2023 Distinguished Alumna Award recipient. This is a shocker because she's usually not a loss for words. But. <laughs> this year we have a new award category, the GOC Up and Coming Distinguished Alumni Award, which is for a Glen Oaks alum who has graduated 10 or less or fewer years ago. This young man, Colin Dussel, please come forward. Oh, I like the hat. Graduated from our Agricultural Equipment Technology Program. He's quite the young man. Congratulations. Thank you. You want to say anything? <laughs> He's not usually a loss for words either. If you, if you want to see him in action, you can see him answering the 20 questions on uh, YouTube, he's pretty famous, got a lot of likes. So this one, this one's gonna be a little more challenging for me. I would like to ask Mrs. Patricia DeVere to come forward, please. I'm sure you figured out by now she's with me. <laughs> Please read what's in the program, but, but I just gotta say that no man has ever been more lucky than me.
We have one very special award that we give to graduating, a graduating student. The President's Academic Award. It's my distinct honor to present the 2023 President's Academic Award of Excellence. The, the, the Glen Oaks Community College has established this award to recognize academic excellence and contributions in the classroom and to the college. The award is based upon the highest achievements in the student's chosen academic area. To be eligible, students must have established an, applica an, ap an application for graduation, be a candidate for associate degree, have an accumulated GPA of 3.75 or higher, and have a minimum of 45 credits earned at Glen Oaks. The recipient for the award will have his or her name inscribed on the plaque, which is permanently displayed at the college. This year, 19 students were nominated, and each received positive comments from faculty. This year's recipient has been described as one of the most motivated students they have ever taught. She's an exceptional student who is a very hard worker, very motivated and driven, always strives to do her best, and is an extraordinary role model for all students to follow. Today, I am proud to announce the 2023 Presidential Award recipient, Madison Tooley. I will hold the, I'll hold the plaque for you, Madison. And Madison is gonna give a few remarks on behalf of the graduating class. It seems that I haven't spoken to a crowd since my eighth grade graduation, so let's all cross our fingers that I've still got it. I cannot put into words how truly honored I am to be here on this stage receiving this award. Looking around here tonight, it is clear that none of us would be here celebrating our accomplishments without the support of our loved ones. I would like to take a moment to thank my parents for always supporting me in all my endeavors and apologize to my dad for making him miss the biggest track meet of his season tonight. Sorry, Dad. To my sister for being my biggest role model. To my grandma for always showing me what strength and perseverance truly is. And to my boyfriend for being my rock. On behalf of my peers and I, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the entire Glen Oaks staff. Each and every one of you have contributed to our successes throughout our time here at Glen Oaks, and your efforts have not gone unnoticed. I specifically wouldn't be up here before all of you if it weren't for the Glen Oaks staff, so thank you. In my short time here at Glen Oaks, I've learned a great deal about the business world, which I will dive into this summer with my associates in business, as well as really learning a great deal about myself. First and foremost, after three accounting classes, I think it is safe to say that I will never become an accountant, nor should I even attempt to do my own taxes. <laughs> On a more serious note, the word that kept popping into my head while writing this speech was perseverance. My peers and I persevered through every challenging paper and exam that we thought we couldn't pass. We all persevered through online classes, through and after a worldwide pandemic. A great majority of my peers and I persevered through attending classes while holding jobs, putting ourselves through college. I personally persevered through a great loss in my family, which followed with several personal battles and struggles. Through everything my peers and I have been through in our time at Glen Oaks, we all persevered and we're here today to celebrate that. Even after our time here at Glen Oaks draws to an end, you will go through several obstacles in your life, and I'd like you to remember tonight and acknowledge that you did and will continue to persevere. Again, a huge thank you to President DeVere, the Glen Oaks staff, faculty, and Board of Trustees for this year's President's Award. Congratulations, Class of 2023. Good luck to each and every single one of you, and may you continue to persevere. Thank you. Great job. Great job.
Thank you, Madison, for the wonderful remarks. And thank you, Professor McNamara, for giving her some guidance. We've arrived at the part of tonight's ceremony that we were waiting on. Time to recognize our graduates and confer the degrees and certificates. Everyone that's watching on the live stream, if you follow along with the graduation program this evening, you'll be able to see the order and know when your graduate is approaching the stage to be announced. And now, with no further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our almost new first commencement, Dr. Adam Cloutier, Vice President of Academics, to present the class. Good evening and thank you. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the success of our students. It is my pleasure as the Vice President of Academics to present the graduating class of 2023. We will start by recognizing academic honors. I'm sure you noticed that some of the graduates are adorned with colorful cords and sashes. These are the outward symbols of academic success. Well, the graduates with a 3.0 GPA and above, please rise to be recognized. You may be seated. Wearing gold-colored sashes with the PTK insignia on them, as well as blue and gold tassels. Will the Phi Theta Kappa Honor members please rise to be recognized? You may be seated. Wearing red, black, and white cords, will the TRIO members please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. Wearing blue and gray cords, will the TRI Alpha Honors please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. Will the graduates that are part of the Futures for Frontliners please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. Will the graduates that are part of the Michigan Reconnect program please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. Wearing red, white, and blue cords, will our veteran graduates please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. Wearing blue and gold cords, will our Epsilon Pi Tau members please rise and be recognized? Wearing the colorful sashes, would the Hispanic Student Alliance members please rise? You may be seated. And wearing black and white cords as well as an EMC pin, will the early middle college graduates please rise and be recognized?
Thank you. You may be seated. We're getting a little closer. You about ready? All right, and now we will recognize all graduates in their accomplishments at Glen Oaks Community College. Would the graduating students please rise? President DeVere, I present to you the candidates of the class of 2023 who have or will fulfill the requirements for the following degrees and certificates. It's a long list, here we go. Accounting certificate, Associate of Applied Science and Agricultural Equipment Technology, Agricultural Equipment Technology Certificate, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information System, Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts in Computer Science, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts with an emphasis in Commercial Photography, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts with an emphasis in Fine Arts, Associate of Arts in Visual Arts with an emphasis in Graphic Design, Associate of Business, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Science, Coding Specialist Physician-Based Certificate, Computer Support Technician Certificate, Cybersecurity Certificate of Achievement, Electrical Technologies Certificate, Medical Assisting Certificate, Management and Marketing Certificate, Management and Supervision Certificate, Network Administration Technician Certificate, Phlebotomy Technician Certificate, and Welding Certificate. Under the authority vested in me by the Glen Oaks Board of Trustees and the State of Michigan, I confer upon each of you the appropriate degree or certificate with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that pertain thereto. Everybody may sit down but the first row. Now is the time. Here we go. Amanda Marie Allen, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Ulysses Avila, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Jaden Rose Birch, Associate of Arts. Alexis Carpenter, Associate of Arts. Justice Cheeks, Associate of Arts. Hannah Faith Clark, Associate of Arts. Julia Elizabeth Cook, Associate of Arts, Management Marketing Certificate. Yeah. Eliza Rochelle Davis, Associate of Arts. Adam Donmeyer, 
Associate of Arts. Diage Deshaun Dozier, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Lauren Olivia Dressler, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Cheyenne Elizabeth Easter, Associate of Arts. Elena Eicher, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Bettina Emery, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Gavin Michael Etter, Associate of Arts. Tony Fish, Associate of Arts. Chris Fry, Associate of Arts. John Gartland, Associate of Arts. Angel Gary, Associate of Arts. Alex Gendron, Associate of Arts. Samantha Jewel Harker, Associate of Arts. Brooke Himes, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Catherine Faith Hostetler, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Chantel Horn, Associate of Arts. Zaria Claire Hatoba During, Associate of Arts. Sarah Huff, Associate of Arts, Medical Assistant Certificate. Clarissa Deanne Irwin, Associate of Arts. Zoe Kane, Associate of Arts. Lori Diane Kaufman, Associate of Arts. Mercedes Lynn Limpert, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Ethan Lindsay, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Jillian Lopez Terry, Associate of Arts. Seth Braden Lugi, Associate of Arts. Abby 
Aaron Miller, Associate of Arts. Andrea Marie Miller, Associate of Arts. Giselle Munoz Duran, Associate of Arts, Management Marketing Certificate, Management Supervision Certificate. Allison Naster, Associate of Arts. Tyler O'Brien, Associate of Arts. Colin Persinger, Associate of Arts. Jonathan Kiros, Associate of Arts. Odeja Robertson, Associate of Arts. Jardicel Rodriguez, Associate of Arts. Lauren Marie Shabas, Associate of Arts. Abigail Alicia Schleba, Associate of Arts. Gabriella Elizabeth Schleba, Associate of Arts. Claire Marie Steele, Associate of Arts. Megan Summy, Associate of Arts. Malik Jamari Tansmore, Associate of Arts. Catlin Tissue, Associate of Arts. Emma Ryan Vili, Associate of Arts. Braden Webb, Associate of Arts. Harley R. Webster, Associate of Arts. Chloe Weinberg, Associate of Arts. Caitlin Shea Williamson, Associate of Arts. Maya Grace Wilson, Associate of Arts. Kelsey Elizabeth Kratzer, Associate of General Studies. DeAndre James Francis, Associate of General Studies. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Grosvenor, Associate of General Studies. Rebecca Lynn Hollingsworth, Associate of General Studies. Heather Leona Annette Reese, 
Associate of General Studies. Trenton Cecil Steers, Associate of General Studies, Electrical Technology Certificate. Kyla Davis, Associate of Science. Jessica Nicole Aish, Associate of Science. Paul Wynn, Associate of Science. Arispet Garcia Munoz, General Studies Certificate. Sophia Grace Lazinski, General Studies Certificate. J.D. Munoz Alejo, General Studies Certificate. Andrew Littlefield, Associate of Applied Science and Agricultural Equipment Technology. Brendan Bundy, Agricultural Technology Equipment Certificate. Avery Wheeler, Agricultural Technology Equipment Certificate. Tanya Rochelle Bowser, Associate of Arts and Visual Arts, Emphasis in Fine Arts. Gina Mari Babcock, Associate of Arts and Visual Arts, Emphasis in Graphic Design. Dana Lynn McLaughlin, Associate of Arts and Visual Arts, Emphasis in Commercial Photography. Antonio Joseph Belton, Associate of Business. Diana Christensen, Associate of Business, and she graduated high school 50 years ago this spring. <laughs> Joshua Patrick Cook, Associate of Business, Management Supervision Certificate. Caleb Hackett, Associate of Business. Hallie Elizabeth McCoy, Associate of Business. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Outlaw, Associate of Business, Management Supervision Certificate. <laughs> Sierra Peterson, Associate of Business. Haley Sove, Associate of Business. <laughs> Olivia Teichman, Associate of Business. <laughs> Madison Tully, Associate of Business. Michael James Benlenti, Associate of Business. Oh, 
Fiona Lene Barber, Associate of Applied Science in Business Management Marketing Certificate. Crystal Lynn Smith, Associate of Applied Science in Business Accounting Certificate. Sid Curtis Tutwiler, Associate of Applied Science in Business Management Supervision Certificate. Christine Marie Wheeler, Associate of Applied Science in Business Management Supervision Certificate. Andrea Lauren Patton, Associate of Applied Science in Business Accounting Certificate. Caleb Edward Hackenberg, Associate of Arts in Computer Science. <laughs> Jeffrey Evans, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information Systems, Network Administration Technician Certificate. <laughs> Carson Hunter, Associate of Applied Science and Computer Information Systems, Computer Support Technician Certificate. <laughs> Ryan Nowicki, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Information Systems, Computer Support Technician Certificate, Cybersecurity Certificate of Achievement. Mason Maverick Predosa, Associate of Applied Science and Computer Information Systems. Zachary Parker Roos, Associate of Applied Science and Technology, Electrical Technology Certificate. Ronald Wolford, Associate of Applied Science and Technology, Network Administration Technician Certificate. <laughs> Maya Lynn Grant, Associate of Applied Science and Allied Health, Medical Assistant Certificate. <laughs> Allison Kayan Harold, Associate of Applied Science and Allied Health Medical Assistant Certificate. Derek Robert Coley, Medical Assistant Certificate. Jessica M. Grant, Medical Assistant Certificate. Jasmine Lynn Swanger, Medical Assistant Certificate, Phlebotomy Certificate. <laughs> Chelsea Ambroso, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Christine Michelle Anderson, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Katie Barrent, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Tyler Bohach, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Sam Fitro, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Sierra Geigley, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Yeah! 
Emily Rose Gooch, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Nikki Hambright, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Associate of General Studies. Shanira Jones, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Sydney Dorian Lynn Knitter, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Bethany June McGuffin, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Mackenzie May Monroe, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> Olivia Grace Nas, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> Nikki Faye Pritchard, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Emily Iris Rogers, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> Brittany Christine Shalaba, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Nicole Schaefer, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Schuler, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. <laughs> Kaylee Rose Steers, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Kaylee Lynn Traddles, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Caitlin Jane Weldy, Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Eduardo Garcia, Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice. Reese Elizabeth Groover, Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice. Lexi Lisbeth Rodriguez, Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice, Associate of Arts. Caleb Bird, Associate of Arts. At this time, once again, I'd like to invite Dr. Cloutier to have you move your tassels. With the graduating students of the class of 2023, Please rise and remain standing. All graduates, please move your tassels to the left.
Please join me in singing the alma mater. The words are found on the second page of your program. Please stand. seated. Let us pray. We have come to an hour of new things. New dreams occupy our thoughts and new goals take their place in the priorities of our hearts. May we now experience a new blessing. May light guide our next steps and peace keep our minds at ease. May we find together the place of prosperity where we have what we need physically, emotionally, and spiritually. May we know with certainty that each of us is loved and that we are irreplaceable on this planet. May the spirits of light and compassion guide us as we live our purposes in this life, so we go forth to accomplish our unique mission, the life that is special to each one of us, with infinite blessing and eternal hope. Amen. The college has swag bags for each of the graduating students of this evening and make sure you pick yours up from the concourse. We invite everyone to come to the graduating art students art show at the end of the concourse. As we leave, the platform guests will exit first, followed by faculty, staff, and then the students will be dismissed. Please wait until the students leave.
to the beginning and played it again, but <laughs> we gave them their money's worth. Yeah. <laughs> 